Now, in April 2014, the author of The Accidental Prime Minister spoke to Karan Thapar on his allegations that Sonia Gandhi had received secret files during Dr. Manmohan Singh's tenure as Prime Minister. Let's take a quick listen in this India Today exclusive years ago. Very carefully you've written, he was said to brief her on key issues of the day and sought her instructions on important files to be cleared by the PM. It sounds as if she sort of used him as a remote control to direct the Prime Minister in whichever direction she wished him to go. I think so. I think there's been a wrong interpretation of this part in the, in the media where people seem to think that I suggest he used to actually carry files to her, etc., which would contravene uh, official secrets. You don't think. need to carry files exactly. to consult I think someone. There was a briefing on issues and, and uh, this was not a secret. Uh, that he would actually meet her and take her views on issues before. And those views mm. would condition quite often the decision the Prime Minister made mm. on important subjects. Indeed. And he was therefore the conduit she used mm. to, how shall I put it in quotations, influence him. That's right. And then there was a formal institution of the National Advisory Council. And Pulok would often attend those meetings.